In one of the quest lines in a woman's lot, the last and biggest DLC for Kingdom Come Deliverance, we assume the role of Teresa, the daughter of the Scalet's Mirror. <laughs> Teresa's story begins before the dramatic events at the start of the main game. On a fine spring morning, in the still peaceful, sleepy village of Skalitz. Right, better get to work. I have to feed the hens, weed the garden, feed Tinker. I'd better get it all done before Papa is up. Idyllic, perhaps. But life for a 15th century village girl is no bed of roses. Since her mother died, Teresa has had to step into her shoes and take on all the woman's work of the household. Here, chicky, chicky, chicky. Here. But her life Hello, isn't just about feeding hens and weeding the garden. When playing as Teresa, the player has access to most of the skills Henry has. She's even capable of archery and sword combat. Not afraid of anything, eh? Well, at least as well as you'd expect of an ordinary millmaid. Besides, she can always count on her faithful dog Tinker to back her up. The dog has his own stats, which improve with training. As long as she takes good care of Tinker, he'll pair back with protection and help in searching for people and things. Teresa's questline is separated from the rest of the game and is played out in parallel with Henry's story. So, we get to meet him too. Oh shit! I'm sweating like a pig! Although the map is smaller and the storyline more linear, the game world is populated with new side quests and unique events. Here is a chance to experience Scalitz before the terrible events that are about to overturn the lives of the people here. One cartload of hay. I hope so. It's just that it seems like there's no end to it at all. Indeed. I'd rather see it all burn to ashes and keep breaking my back here for all eternity. But the simple joys and concerns of everyday life won't last for long. A Woman's Lot is a story of survival and finding courage in the face of tragedy and death. And Teresa isn't one to succumb without a fight. She can even use stealth, <coughs> archery, or even risk taking on the enemy face to face in combat. <laughs> And when push comes to shove, having a fateful sidekick is always a bonus. And so, in this DLC, not only Teresa gets a new four-legged friend. Hey, Mutt. Remember me? From Scalix, remember? Wanna go with me? Come on then. We'll get on like a house on fire. Teresa is not the only woman whose story we witness in a woman's lot. In Henry's shoes, we get a chance to help an old friend from Scalitz. Johanka, who also escaped the massacre with her life. No doubt she'll be happy to see a familiar face. Hurry up, Henry! We have to go! Here I am. Henry! I was afraid you might have forgotten me. What, me? Forget? Henry of Scalitz never forgets. <laughs> well, thanks for coming. Let's get going, so we're not late. I'm right on your heels. Johanka plays a major role in the second part of the DLC. It's not the player who controls her, though, but, it seems, a higher power. Johanka has been having strange, disturbing dreams, 
or perhaps visions, who can say? Their rich cloaks burst into flames. At her second, their swords broke into pieces. At her third, the crowns cracked on their heads. And then... Watch out! They're coming! Run! Henry, let there be no bloodshed. And it's up to Henry to help her. But whether it's the work of Lucifer or simply human greed, That'll do me. there's certainly evil at large in the province. And it's up to Henry to face it with all the courage and wits he can muster. Oh, fuck. Stress me greatly to have to pronounce a verdict of condemnation.